paper bag. Now, it's called the army worm because it eats almost everything as it marches through countryside. It's now established in West Africa, and scientists are warning that urgent action is needed to prevent devastating losses to crops and farmers' livelihoods. There's a fear it'll spread to Asia and also the Mediterranean. So let's find out more about the threat and the way to actually combat it, because with me is our science correspondent, Helen Briggs. And, uh, Helen, well, it sounds quite perilous. Let's rewind a little bit. Where has this actually come from? Well, it's native to the Americas. It's normally a problem there, normally South America, but it occasionally pops up in North America, hence its name, Fall Army Worm. Um, it only, it's only around in autumn, and it doesn't survive after that. But now it's in Africa, so it was found about a year ago, uh, and it is a, a very big pest, uh, maize mainly, but also other crops. And there it is, a full still picture on our screen and in the maze that you're talking about. Give me a little more detail about just the speed of its ability to move, the destruction it causes. Well, moths come along, lay their eggs, these caterpillars hatch out. After a couple of days, they're a big pest and they literally will just move through crops and eat more or less everything in their path. Um, as I say, particularly maize, but other crops as well. So it's regarded as a really big threat. Now, part of the problem is that um, it gets confused with other caterpillars, so it has to be identified properly. And now scientists are saying that it's definitely in West Africa, it's probably in other countries as well. Um, and, and they're warning that really action is needed now to decide what to do. I'll come back to that action in a moment, but you talked about the confusion with, with other species. They're actually doing DNA, aren't they, to actually establish the one they've actually got? They are. So you have to actually do DNA tests, do what's called DNA barcoding to check that you've got the right caterpillar. There are other, other types of army worm um, that are around in Africa. This is the one they're particularly concerned about. So it's not clear yet exactly where it is and it's not clear what you do to control it. Ah, that's exactly where I was going to uh, go to. I mean, do they have any idea of how you go about combating it? Well, the first thing is to catch it early, so they're trying to work with local farmers to um, say what signs there are, um, what to look for, and the second thing is to do some sort of control, so they're talking some sort of insecticides. What they don't want is sort of mass um, insecticides everywhere. They're talking about some sort of mixture of chemical control and biological control. There's some quite neat things you can do. You can use wasps, for example, to eat caterpillars. We don't know yet what you can do in the areas that, it's, that um, it's affecting at the moment. So a lot of research needs to be done. And who are the, the prime drivers? Who's coordinating this? Because we, we rattled through in the introduction the various areas of the world now that either have it or are imperiled. Is there any sort of coordination going on to try to combat the threat? Well, um, this group, Centre for Agriculture and Biosciences International, intergovernmental organisation, so they're on the ground in Africa uh, and they're actually working with local scientists there and with farmers to try and um, do something about this. There's also a meeting coming up um, in a couple of weeks' time um, with the agricultural organisation, the FAO, to try and get some action and some sort of coordinated action. The first thing that really needs to be done is to actually check that these what these species of, of caterpillar are uh, and then work out how to treat it, how to control it, otherwise it could be a very, very big pest. Yes, a big pest and colossal damage. I mean, I mentioned crops, farmers' livelihoods, if we're talking about Asia now and Mediterranean, I mean, it, the problems just stack up. Well, the thing is, is that can spread on imported produce. That's how they think it got into Africa. So there is potential for it to spread further. And, of course, with moths, um, which actually lay the eggs with the caterpillars hatch out, then obviously you can't control where they're flying. Um, so also concerned because it's not just maize that's affected. It can actually affect up to about 100 different types of plants. But obviously, if maize is your staple crop, then um, that's what they're going to be most concerned about. Well, quite a problem, Helen. Thanks for taking us through all of that. Uh, we are talking coffee. We're talking Trump in just a moment. Don't go away. <laughs>